While Hotel Rwanda film hero has turned villain, Paul Rasasa Bengena has been sentenced to 25 years for terrorism by a court in Rwanda. He portrayed a life-saving hero in the film depiction of the Rwandan genocide. And now he's convicted for backing a rebel group responsible for the deadly attacks in 2018 and 2019. Rwandan government spokesperson Yolande Makwala joins me now for this conversation. Yolande, thank you so much for your time this evening. Can you just help us understand exactly what Paul was found guilty of and subsequently sentenced to 25 years in prison for? Uh, well, Paul Rusis Abagina was uh, convicted uh, and sentenced to 25 years for being part of a terrorist group that conducted raids in Rwanda that killed at least nine people, wounded many others, and, uh, and looted uh, property. He was also found guilty of organizing the recruitment of fighters to join this illegal armed group called the FLM. Well, and it's not just any fighters. Uh, yeah. any fighters. These fighters are members of uh, of the remnants of um, militia and government soldiers that uh, were involved in the genocide in 1994 that fled to what was then Zaire. Um, they're known as they were known as FDLR for a while, and they keep changing names. And the name that uh, Rusia Sabagina uh, gave this uh, new uh, militia that uh, whose 21 members were convicted yesterday is the FLN. But then his daughter, um, uh, Karim Kalimba, was actually saying that the Rwandan authorities kidnapped him and that they kidnapped him e from Dubai even. Is that the case? Did the Rwandan government kidnap Paul? Um, no. Uh, Rusia Sabagini was tricked into coming to Rwanda uh, in a law enforcement operation. Um, and he was taken into custody uh, based on an arrest warrant. May I just understand, this when you say that he was tricked, uh, Yolande, just on that point, when you say he was tricked to come into Rwanda, how do you trick someone to come to Rwanda? Well, he was lured. He was lured here. He, he, he was a suspected terrorist. You don't catch terrorists any, any, anyhow. Uh, you, you have to set up uh, an operation. And this is what our law enforcement did, the Rwanda Investigation Bureau. They set up a trap for him. He fell for it. And when he arrived in Rwanda, thinking he was going to Burundi, he was taken into custody because there was an arrest warrant, uh, um, an outstanding arrest warrant for him. So, well, yeah. This is done well, by many countries. Yeah. Many, this, is, this is done by many countries all, all over the world. And no laws were broken when this was done. No national or international laws were broken. But then Paul is also he understood to, to be a critic of... of um, uh, President Paul Kagame, did this have anything to do with his arrest, that he's, uh, we, he's known for this, it's publicly known for this, that he was a big critic of the president? Did his arrest and subsequent sentencing have anything to do with him actually being a critic of the president? Uh, not at all. President Kagame has many critics. It comes with the territory when you're a high-profile head of state. It's not a crime to be a critic, uh, to be a critic, to criticize or, or not to like the president. But when, when, when you start recruiting uh, uh, for uh, genocidaire, when you put them into a militia that then goes into villages and kills innocent people, when they ambush buses in the forest and burn people alive, then uh, you cross a line. And you have to be held accountable by, by the law. And this is what the judges uh, ruled yesterday, that he was guilty of. Just help us understand here around, uh, because now this is a, an individual who was portrayed as a hero, especially during the genocide, who is now, according to the Rwandan government, a terrorist. Right? These are serious accusations. The evidence the, that follows that accusation and subsequent se uh, sentencing can you just, do you have concrete evidence that links Paul to the terrorist acts, that links him from being this celebrated hero internationally, right, including receiving medals, to now being sentenced for 25 years in jail for being an actual terrorist? He received a medal in 2005, but then as early as 2006, he was starting to get involved in these groups uh, that had committed genocide, quite contrary to what he was known for, actually, that, that was in the fictional movie Hotel Rwanda in 2004. And, um, and, and the, the evidence that was produced in court uh, based, based on the charges, the nine charges that the prosecution brought, uh, brought in front of the court, the evidence was comprehensive, it was compelling. Uh, some of it was actually provided by Bridget 
Belgian authorities after a search of his house in Brussels. Um, there was also evidence uh, given by witnesses, including his co-defendants, who, uh, who pinned him on some of the, some of the crimes that were being uh, discussed in court. Yeah, and how do you explain to the international uh, community who would view Rasa Sabenga's uh, subsequent sentencing as just political silencing, that it has nothing to do with, as you say, terrorist act, that it's got nothing to do with how he's now turned to fund genocide-affiliated uh, 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 organizations and groups, that it's got everything to do with how opponents of Paul Kagame's government are continuously silenced, that those who would oppose Paul Kagame as well as his government will also face the might of the law or face some serious uh, uncomfortable positions simply because of their disposition opposing the president. Well, you're talking about the international community. Rwanda is a member of the international community and no country to uh, tolerates tolerates terrorism. Rwandans need and deserve their safety and security. Um, and the court spoke yesterday that the trial lasted six months um, and the judges ruled that Mr. Sabagina and his 20 co-accused co were, were guilty. And let me just say also, uh, Faith, that uh, what's really shocking about this case and what the people around the world need to understand is the complete removal of, uh, of the victims from this narrative. Um, their suffering has been ignored, so has the complicity of, uh, of the co-accused in this case, um, and, and simply because uh, one of the defendants was portrayed in a film 17 years ago. Elena, we'll this is about the victims. Yeah. We we're glad that the victims were justice yesterday. We'll leave it there for uh, this uh, evening. Thank you so much for your time and shedding some light in terms of how is it that the Rwandan government came to sentence one such an individual was deemed as a hero. If you all watch the, the movie Hotel Rwanda, this was an individual who was uh, quite central to it, a hotel manager who said to have saved about 1,200 lives. Now, it looks as though he's turned terrorist.